MIT undergraduate application essays. Let's talk about them. So MIT does not currently use the common application, which means no long personal statement essay. Rather, the university has a collection of five prompts across various topics, each with a recommended word count of 100 to 200. A little intimidating, right? Well, what this means is that we can cover a lot of different aspects of your candidacy across the five essays, but we have to be very tailored to each prompt on account of the small word limit, which means let's avoid redundancy. So let's take a look at these prompts. First is a Y major prompt with some Y school elements mixed in. After choosing the major from a drop-down list, you'll talk about why you wish to study that subject at MIT. This will require you to discuss how your interest has developed, how you pursued it thus far, and how you hope to do so at MIT. Say you're interested in computer science. You could talk about how you first got exposed to the subject, what you've done in terms of coursework, such as in AP computer science, what you've done outside of class, for instance, in robotics or hackathon competitions, and how you will pursue that interest at MIT, citing any courses, professors, organizations, or other resources that interest you. Spend some time on the MIT website looking for academic opportunities to reference for this prompt. I promise you'll find a lot. Now, the second prompt requires an activity essay, but there's a bit of a spin. You can't talk about anything required of you, so no referencing anything like mandatory volunteering hours at school. Rather, here you can mention something that you chose to do because you enjoy it. Of course, this could be something like a hobby or passion, like athletics or music, but it can also stem from a student organization mentioned on your activity list, especially if you've undertaken a leadership experience in such an activity. For instance, if you're president of your school's creative writing club, you can mention that here. You can mention an academic related experience, but you certainly don't have to. Remember, we have five essay prompts to write. We want each to represent pieces of a mosaic that cover different aspects of your profile. Don't be afraid to have fun with this one. So the third prompt requires a bit of an oddball essay. It's themed around being a trailblazer. Out of all the essays, this will probably require the most unique brainstorming, unless you have related content from an existing common app personal statement that can be adapted here. Whether you do or don't, let's talk about ways to structure this essay. The essence of being a trailblazer is undertaking risk and growing as a result from it. This is what we want to express in this essay. Now, you may have taken an unexpected path in your educational journey by choosing to study abroad or by undertaking a unique curriculum. But of course, not everyone will have such an opportunity. As a result, you can think about aspects of your life, perhaps outside of class, in which you've been a trailblazer. That can mean undertaking research in a novel direction in a topic that matters to you. It can mean establishing a new club at your high school, which has facilitated academic growth for you and others. Or it can mean working alongside student government to pass an initiative that changed the learning experience across the class. These are just a few ideas. I promise that if you think holistically about your educational journey, you'll find ways in which you deviated from the norm. Remember, it never hurts to ask someone like a teacher or advisor for input when you're brainstorming for these essays. The fourth prompt requires a community essay, which leaves many options. As a student, you're bound to have many communities, including those based around an academic interest, a cultural affinity, or maybe even a hobby. We want to pick one of these communities and talk about your role within it. A great starting point is to think about your extracurricular activities. What kinds of communities are especially important to you? In the second prompt, we talk about an activity that you do for fun. So here, we can hopefully mention another extracurricular in order to prevent redundancy. When thinking about what to mention, I'd recommend focusing on an activity in which you've assumed a leadership responsibility, if possible. This will make it easy to think about the impact that you've had in the group. For instance, let's say you take a foreign language like Spanish and hold a position in your school's Spanish Honor Society. You could talk about a specific experience you've had within that capacity. Talk about a problem that you overcame in that group, or perhaps a successful event that you hosted. Introduce some characters into your story to humanize the essay and present your interactions with others. This essay gives you space for some dialogue, so don't be afraid to show it. And finally, the last required prompt asks for a challenge essay. Similar to prompt three, this prompt is open-ended enough so that you may be able to recycle content from a common app personal statement. So what makes a challenge essay compelling? Well, in one word, it's tension. You must have stakes in your essay. While you could certainly write a story on your approach to a challenging problem in Math Olympiad, which technically fits the prompt, it might not be the best way to showcase the depth of your strengths in overcoming challenges. What do I mean by raising the stakes? Well, think about what would happen if you were to fail your goal. 
what would the consequences be? That's what makes the success in managing the challenge all the more powerful. What are some examples of these high stakes challenges? Well, what about assuming family responsibilities due to unforeseen circumstances like an illness? What about having to self-learn a subject due to limitations at your school? How about being faced with a moral dilemma in an extracurricular activity in which you're confronted with choosing what is easy versus what is right? This question may require a bit of brainstorming. So I'd say, think about this. What are some things that you're most proud of achieving? Why? Thinking about your biggest accomplishment may shed some insight into the depth of the challenges you overcame in achieving them. So those are the five required essays, which along with watching our school tour video, should tell you what MIT is all about. Remember, with so many different essays, you wanna make sure that each focuses on a different aspect of your profile. It might be helpful before you start writing to list all the important things you wish to get across in this supplement, whether those are values you hold, accomplishments you've made, or dreams you're pursuing. Then you could think about how to integrate such content across all these essays. With a flexible word count, you have some leeway here assuming you're not writing 400 words for each of these prompts. Anything that's missing can even be added to the final open-ended text box. This is a great chance to recycle content from an essay for another school, especially if you didn't have the chance to get such content across in the other essays. It's also a chance to elaborate on a meaningful extracurricular experience you enjoyed, especially since MIT only gives space for four activities in that section. Or you could simply treat this text box as being like the additional information section on the Common App. That is, for any logistical stuff that you couldn't get across anywhere else in the application. So ultimately, while MIT's application may seem complicated on the surface, it's not too bad when you break it down piece by piece and write with intention. You got this.